was a fine night. The usual winter night, uh, it was normal. As far as I remember, there were no stars at all because you could see the reflection of the flames from the burning of the town against the cloud layer. About half past seven or so that night, I was sitting down to tea with the rest of the family, and suddenly we were all brought to our feet by the sound of a grenade exploding somewhere outside. So I came out of the church and I saw the looking down from the hill into the hollow of Dylan's cross. I saw the flames coming from some houses that were burning, and I heard shots being fired. I saw people running in all directions, from the direction of the examiner office and the auxiliary running after them, whipping many of them all the time. I was accosted by a um, black and tan who uh, searched me and wanted to know why I was on the street. And I happened to have an apple in one pocket and an orange in another pocket, you see. I imagined that he thought they were two Mills' bombs, you see. The tents had mauls, heavy sledgehammers, and pinch bars, iron bars about four feet long, with a hook on them, that you would press the door up. They told us to get out of the way, and their fire shots. And when we got there, there were two or three fires. And the Garden State Fireman was working on one of them. And we, we tackled the other, and we beat it down. And the tents moved by the run and get more fires. And then cut the holes. It was worse. Didn't the fellow was outside in Flanders, or on any other battlefield. He said he was an auxiliary, and they, the auxiliaries, were going to blow up the city. He had also a rifle slung over his shoulder, a revolver hanging to his left side, and a baton. The roof of the house had collapsed, and that was the crash that awakened me. So I ran downstairs, opened the door, I stepped into the arms of a black and tan. The fire was raging then, from Merchant Street to, to, to Winthrop Street and along up to Cook Street. The fire then travelled uh, along down Cook Street, uh, down Robert Street, and the Montserrat here was all in flames. There were a few scattered people about, that was all though. But black and tens everywhere, and they're racing about, and they're losing the shops. While indoors with my father, brothers and sisters, we went through a terrible time. The house next door was by this time fiercely burning, and the fire was gradually encroaching on ours. We dared not move to save either. The Crown forces kept guard over the burning houses, and anybody trying to save even their own property were fired on. So, as I was going down Merchant Street, I happened to go down halfway and I met one of my comrades. He says, where are you going? So I said, I'm going down to the city hall. He says, there's no city hall there. He says, burning down. I could see just in front of me down Parrick Street, a few firemen in there with their horses in there, hosing the fire, so they might as well be <laughs> throwing water into the, into the lee. 